What's up, y'all? It's Rev. Welcome back. I make music as Summer Starved. I'm a record producer, songwriter, Joyful Noise, Chesa, Chesa. Yeah, today's video was inspired by Jordan Esker, amazing songwriter and producer himself. Uh, we talked on uh, Renoise episode something. Anyway, you can check that out. Link will be in the description below. Yeah, we went through a bunch of different stuff, uh, mostly about his new record, but we did talk a little bit about some recording techniques, which are really cool. Uh, mostly using the tape machine to slow down your music and then sing it at a different pitch and then speed it back up. So I'm going to dive into that a little bit. Uh, I'll show you a little part of the conversation that inspired this and then we'll jump in. Did that for a demo recently where basically I had recorded the guitar, bounced it into the tape machine, and then I recorded the vocal straight onto the tape machine because I have a little pitch wheel on there. And I wanted them, you know, when you pitch stuff down or up, it also messes with the format. So, you know, if you pitch it up, it gets sharper, and then yeah. gets like that. That's lowering the format. I wanted it to have a weird sort of like, you know, not pitched up technically, but like just a higher format. And you can do that with a plug-in, but I wanted to see how the tape machine handled it. And it handles it a little more naturally, but but also a little more strangely in a way where like because it feels more natural it's like that's not supposed to be natural because it's clearly like not a normal human voice all right cool so we're in ableton here i got this little beat my attempt is going to be to use the multi-speed to do some interesting vocal stuff so we'll see how that goes so first of all let me just play you what i have here it's a little ditty Cool. So I made this uh, sample bass instrument out of my uh, Ovation acoustic guitar. This kind of uh, acoustic instrument. I'm going to send that out of my uh, interface on three. So three is in here, is in the channel one. So the output of my interface, three goes into channel one, and then four goes into channel two. So what I'll do is do the acoustic here, and then the uh, drums on that one. To bring the volume down because I know this is going to be bumping. Okay, got the acoustic. You can see it's coming in pretty good here with the hotness. Just EQ it a little bit. drums to come in kind of hot because hot drums on a tape is a good thing so what I'm going to do is counter uh, reset to zero and then I'm just going to record this little pass here return to zero just play that back. Sounds awful. Cool, so what I'm gonna do now is set my mic into uh, this channel, call this vocal, and then send that out to five. I should get these labeled right, but basically it's this channel here. So my attempt is going to be speed up the track, sing something on it, and then slow it down, see how it sounds. Okay, okay cool, I have this coming through here. I'm gonna bring down the volume a little bit. Let's try it out. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, pop music. Right, Play back.
cool. So now I'm going to go back to its original rhythm and time and see what the vocals performance looks like there. A little bit. Then what I'll do, what if we brought it down? And then I record it onto this channel. It'll be weird. I know, I know. I know, I know. Make sure it's on four, not three. This could be a total disaster. All right, so now I have on this channel a new. Yeah, so there you go. It's kind of an interesting little, uh, a weird um, way to kind of use this pitch control to manipulate the formant on your voice. Yeah, that's the original. back at a slower speed. All right, so hope you enjoyed that little bit of understanding on how to change the formant of your voice using the tape machine. If you dig that, give it a big old thumbs up, like, subscribe, send me flowers. Until next time, keep making noise, y'all. Peace.